Hey guys. Today we're checking out Battlefield 1 CPU performance depending on how many cores you got. So to do this I've reduced the graphics settings uh, to 720p and low settings. I also enabled DirectX 12 to get the maximum CPU performance out of our CPU and we're running an AMD FX 9590 processor at about 5 gigahertz on all 8 cores and we will use a single player campaign uh, to get a reproducible setting so what we're doing is we will use uh, the first mission where we drive the, the Panzer, the tank, and there's an automated passage where it, the, the vehicle drives itself and soldiers start walking. And we will make use of that because it is quite CPU heavy. So this is the tank. <clears throat> that you operate in and there are the soldiers and they will start running over there in a couple of seconds and our tank will come here from the back all right well let's get started and let's restart this mission So here in the BIOS we can go to advanced settings and then to CPU core off and on function and we will set that to manual. And now we will disable the seventh and eighth core. That means now we have the first and second, the third and fourth, and the fifth and the sixth core available, but no longer the 7th and 8th. So let's continue. We are loading the campaign here and you can see in the task manager that we are only left with 6 cores. And there we go same scene as before then we have the CPU usage frame rate but this still looks pretty good The game is now closed and you can see the usage being dropped quite significantly. Now let's head to the buys again and change the settings. So what we're going to do now is disabling another module which is 5th and 6th core. Let's go. See? And let's try it out. Four cores. We are again in our scene and we can see that the FPS are significantly lower, like 40 FPS lower than before uh, in comparison to our 8 core. Also, 
you can see that our CPU us usage itself is in the high 90s, which means there's no headroom left for our CPU to handle more demanding scenes than this easy single player scene. And I'm expecting some uh, FPS drops in big battle scenes, uh, so I wouldn't go with an quad core there. You've got wasted potential, the game can utilize more than that. Uh, we can see here that the CPU that is really pinned to the top on all four cores and uh, that reflects back from our game performance. Like 80, 90 FPS in comparison to over 100 before. There, there, that's the 38 FPS as a drop. That's terrible if you're a first person shooter. You should go for more than four threads on the CPU for sure. That's what I can tell right now. So we've seen some pretty significant performance drops to the mid 30s, uh, but let's continue and disable the third and fourth core as well. Even the Windows boot up is getting slow. You can see that the CPU is pinned at 100% and the SSD, uh, which is this one, isn't fully utilized. So now we're seeing performance issues even in the video which plays before the mission starts. Normally it's uh, 30 uh, FPS lock, but now you can see that even in the video we're seeing frames below 30 because the CPU just can't even handle the video playback properly. And now let's try to skip that. Alright. CPU usage pinned to 100% and we're about 30 FPS ish. Let's drive along here. Oh, some really bad stuttering, like drops to zero. Really choppy. You can see that on the latency, there are the frame times. All right. We're getting up into the 40s here. However, let's wait until the soldiers there are running into the fight. Alright, there they go. Alrighty. Now, let's check back here. We can see the CPU really high usage. Uh, the temperatures are pretty low. The temperatures actually decreased. It's obvious since like six of eight modules uh, cores aren't used. And now, try the last step: disabling that core. Alright, there we are. Let's go ahead and disable that one as well. So we only have the first core activated. Save and reset. The boot up is now really taking long. The CPU core, the one that we still have, is pinned to 100% and the temperatures are pretty cool. So let's have a wait until this system is booted up and then get into the game. Alright, we booted on one core and the good thing is Battlefield actually starts with only one core. This is amazing I think because there are certain games that don't even start if you have less than X cores, let's say 2 or 4, but this one does. 
So let's try out our campaign again. So here we are again at our lovely video, and the CPU is struggling to play back even at 20 FPS now. Let's have a look over here. Temperature wise, we're all fine. We're still at 5 GHz. However, we're not seeing any daylight here. Also, loading the mission and jumping in game takes now longer because the CPU is struggling so hard to load up the game. I mean, come on. I hope I'm not ending up at a black screen after this video has finished. Still waiting. Huh. That's like really choppy. See that? Don't trust the FPS counter. There we go. Zero. This is like terrifying. Alright. We are finally loaded up. And can join into the game. Okay, terrain is kind of buggy. Ah, there we go. We're driving. 5 FPS. No, that isn't good at all. All right. Let's wait for the NPCs to start running. There was the drill. Let's have them running and let's see whether we get some dips to zero. Looking good so far. Let's wait for some explosions. There comes the other tank. Uh, boom. Hmm. Looks fine to me. All right. Another look here at the usage. You can see that. Yeah, it's really pinned at one hundred percent. Temperature-wise, we're near idle. So let's conclude this video. And I must say, I was surprised that the. 4 core test was going so fine. However, I think uh, you shouldn't go below that. Dual core and single core was terrible. 6 core and 8 core was great. 4 core was. Uh, you probably would get some big FPS drops in uh, certain multiplayer matches. So, all in all, I think if you rewatch this video ever and you keep a close look at the CPU usage overall, like uh, you will you will notice that the overall usage also increased, like from eight to six cores, from six to four cores, the overall u CPU usage was higher. This means that you can do less stuff uh, at the same time. 
that you have less headroom. And that also means that the game in DirectX 12 mode can't fully utilize the CPU because of a single core performance bottleneck, even in DirectX 12. It's way worse in DirectX 11, that's why I chose DirectX 12, but some more optimization would be nice, I guess. Alright guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.